Man, I have lost track of how many zip lines I have done, but some of them are absolutely crazier than others. Check out today's video. I wanna share with you what went down in Costa Rica with this one zip line that wasn't quite using the most up-to-date safety measures. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I've had a chance to do zip line all over the world, but I have never done a zip line what, like what we had here in Costa Rica. I mean, listen, I've been able to go on lines that are literally a mile long, some that are just zooming crazy fast. And what's interesting about all zip lines is they all use a different technology for how they want to do the brakes, how they want to do the stopping. I have never seen anything as primitive as what I saw here in Costa Rica. And don't get me wrong, this place is an amazing setup. They've got infrastructure. It looks like it's been around for a long time, but we literally get in the briefing. They're like, all right, when it's time to slow down, we're going to just, we're going to jiggle the line a little bit and you're going to feel it. And it's going to tell you that you should brake. And how you're going to brake with your contraption is you're going to hold your steering wheel and you're going to click it left and right and left and right. And that's going to slow you down. I'm like, what kind of braking system is that, right? But not only that, they said, we want you to go down aerodynamics. So cross your legs, put your butt up in the air, lean backwards. And then what we want you to do is right before you start um, getting to the end, when you brake, we want you to go ahead and spread eagle, open your legs. And I'm like, wow, that sounds like a really uncomfortable thing to do, but I get it. I mean, years ago, I was uh, on a zip line and I had kept my legs crossed when they came up and they, and they touched the line as it was moving really, really fast. I've got this amazing gnarly scar that took like two months to heal on the back of my leg. So I'm like, okay, I get it. Open legs up. Well, we're on the very first line. I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and try this out. Really had no idea how the braking system worked or anything like that. I was one of the first to go. I, I'm pretty excited because I feel like, man, I've done this a lot. I get hanging there. I look upside down. I'm making funny faces at the camera. And then they let me go and oh, this thing is not only going really, really, really fast, and at first I'm just enjoying it. I'm like, yeah, this is so amazing. But as I get closer and closer to the bottom, no one's jiggling the line. And then I get closer, and I'm coming in real hot. I'm kind of a big guy, so I pick up a little bit of momentum. And I'm like, no one's still telling me to pause. And I swear, it was like, before I was 100 feet from the bottom, the guy starts yanking the chain saying, you know, open your legs and break. And I start doing this breaking thing, I'm like, what are you guys talking about? There's absolutely no braking power whatsoever on this stupid thing. And before I knew it, it was like, oh my gosh, lights flashing before my eyes. I'm gonna come like screaming into that wall. So on faith, I open up my legs really wide so that nothing is going to hit the top bar. And I come screaming and plowing right into this thing. And the last thing I saw before I was at the end was this big black thing, could have been made of cement for all I knew. And that thing just starts wedging and rubbing right in between my thighs. I'm like, that's it. I'm gonna lose my manhood. It's game over, lights out. <laughs> I survived. Nothing got broken. I'm in one piece and I'm like, what the crap or some kind of braking system is that supposed to be? And I learned a really important lesson that day. These guys might be the experts in this third world country putting on this experience, but I'm responsible for my life. And I'm just gonna tell you that for the rest of the day, I had a lot of fun. But I was in charge of my own braking, and for me, taking my own body weight into account, I started braking like twice as fast, halfway through, controlling my speed on that thing to make sure that I could get there in one piece. Now, everything was great, man. We were enjoying the day, having lots of fun with my friends, love traveling, love everything that the experience is bringing, and we get to one of the final zips, and all of a sudden, um, what's cool about this one is it's over a half a mile long, so this is pretty extreme. They also say it's the fastest one. They say for normal height and weight, you're gonna get over 50 miles per hour, so I wouldn't be surprised if I got over 60 miles an hour. And from the, it was so far away that all you could see was a tiny little hole through this canopy. You couldn't actually even see the other side. So I get on this one. Sure enough, I get going really fast. And you know what? Halfway through, I start breaking a little bit, slowing it down, maybe to 50, maybe to 40, just making sure I'm taking responsibility for my life. And I get to the end, and there's this suspension bridge, which from, from where I was coming in really fast, it seemed like it was a really narrow bridge. Like if I split my legs apart, each of my ankles is going to be caught on this bridge. It's going to split me in half. So <laughs> I come in, 
I come in with my legs quite a bit narrow. And uh, of course it really was just perception. It wasn't really that far away. And I come slamming on through that thing. And listen, it was a great day. It was a good experience. I'm not exactly sure why they don't have like a global awareness concept of different devices that all zip liners can use all around the world because this zip line company could use a little bit of an upgrade, but hey, it made for some fantastic adventure. I'm not gonna lie, that's what I love about third world travel, is they don't have all the stipulations and rules and guidelines and codes that we do in America, which means that they're a little bit more relaxed and that kind of usually guarantees more of an adventure when I travel. You know, I think I love traveling so much because I love having the opportunity to have experiences I've never had before. I've never done that zip line before, so I'm gonna have an experience with it. If you are looking for an awakening or having an experience that could really wake you up to your potential, a whole new level of, of what your level up might look like, then I wanna invite you to go to chriscrone.com. Click the link in the description below and actually join me at one of my upcoming three-day experiences. They are unforgettable. Your life will never be the same again. And enjoy them with someone. Bring a friend and have a chance to gain the understanding and perception of someone that has made millions of dollars, been able to travel the world, and is able to share that with you and guide you through a series of experiences where your life will truly never be the same again.